The idea behind this demo is to show you how ADAPA and NIME can work together by leveraging the PML standard. Predictive analytics can be applied to problems in all industries, but we chose to show you in this demo a very traditional application of predictive analytics. This is churn prediction due to attrition. Now, the typical way to predict churn is to get information about all the company's customers and use that as input to a predictive technique. This information will usually come from a CRM or ERP system, but also most recently from big data, such as social network data. In our example here, and mind that this is just an example, we know that Matt has three complaints in the last six months, that he opened two support tickets in the last four weeks. We also know the amount of money Matt spent in merchandise and services, as well as demographic information about him. Also, by including social network data into the mix, we can measure the impact of Matt's friends on his behavior. So, for example, we know that 12 of Matt's friends are also customers. So, let's take a look at the training data set. This is a flat file containing all the features we want to use to train our predictive model. As you can see, the input features for all customers include customer since months, customer gender, as well as a percentage of friends that are also customers. And let's see another one here, percentage of open newsletters. The first use case we'll cover in here involves reading data from this flat file, training a predictive model in NIME, and exporting it in PMML. Finally, we'll then manually deploy and execute this model with new data in ADAPA. So we first start by uh, reading the flat file with a CSV reader node and then passing that information for a series of pre-processing nodes. In this one-to-many node, we're actually going to create two continuous variables out of the string variable customer gender. We then normalize all the other continuous variables and uh, do some more pre-processing and finally present that to the neural network learner and uh, write the PML file using the PML writer node. So now I'm executing the entire uh, predictive workflow here. So NIME is pre-processing all the variables and now presenting that to the neural network learner node. I trained this model before and I already have the PML file for this. So let's jump to that. Um, as you can see, the PML has a header element and as well as a data dictionary. Here's a customer gender variable and I'm going to point out to you another variable which is a percentage of friends that are also customers. So that contains the model signature. And then you can see that this is a neural network element that implements a regression function and also the mining schema which has uh, invalid value treatments. And then uh, the local transformations which implements the data preprocessing and here how PMML implements the uh, discretization of customer gender. And at the very bottom of the file, we have all the connection weights between all the neural layers. And so now let's uh, take this PML file and upload it in ADAPA. Uh, so here is the ADAPA admin console. I'm just going to click on upload model and edit file and look for our PML file here. And the ADAPA already uh, is uploading and um, making this model available for execution. There it is in the table of available models. Now let's execute this model in batch mode by reading a CSV file with new data, test data, and uh, score it through the model. So let me select that CSV file and uh, start scoring. So ADAP already finished the processing of 10,000 new customers here and I have my churn flag which has a likelihood of churn for each of my customers. So I can see uh, the pairing with customer ID. The second use case we'll cover in here involves reading customer data from a database, training a model in R or NIME, 
and then deploying this model and scoring it in Adapa via the REST API. Finally, also use the REST interface to write the results back into the database. Note that we will be benefiting here from the REST Web Services interface provided by ADAPA to deploy models and score data automatically. So we he in here we will have, uh, you know, we read that data from the flat file and uh, write it into a database table. Uh, in this case, uh, we are writing that data into MySQL, but it could be really any kind of database such as uh, SQL Server or Oracle. We'll also read uh, the testing data that is uh, new customer data into the database uh, for scoring after model training. So I'm going to do that next after this node uh, stops uh, processing. So I'm going to now read the test data. Is it cute? And as you can see here, we're now going to be uh, using uh, the same model that we built before, uh, but reading the data from the, uh, the database, not from the flat file. And uh, we're also going to read the test data and score in ADAPA and then write the results back into the database. Let's look at uh, the ADAPA uh, uploading methanol here in IME. So basically, we just delete a model if it's there already and upload it using the REST API. I also want to show you the meta node for executing that data through ADAPA. So as you can see, we're also using the REST interface to do that. Uh, let me execute this workflow so we get it going. So as before, NIME is uh, pre-processing the data through all the uh, data transformation nodes. And then it's going to uh, present the data uh, to the neural network uh, learning node. And in IAM, that's a multi layer perceptron learner node. It basically just implements a backpropagation neural network. So, what we're doing here is really presenting the network with uh, data that has a target. So, it has customers that uh, turn in the past and uh, customers that are still um, happy and uh, with the company. And the neural network here is learning the difference between uh, these two populations. Uh, after the model is uh, finished, I'm going to upload the PML file into ADAPA and score the new data for it. So that's done already. Um, next, what I want to show you is uh, a little bit different. So I'm going to be reading a PML file. That PML file can come from any data mining tool, uh, such as R, or even another uh, NIME file and then uploading that modding adapter and scoring new data for it. So let's execute that. And uh, we already got the results also in the database. Let me show you those results. So I'm just going to look at the results table here. I execute this node and let's look at a table view. So as you can see, the predictive value is the likelihood of churn uh, for all my customers. Thank you, that concludes our demo.